What's up guys, Matt here. We're here today with the Volkswagen Jetta. It's a Mark V Jetta 2.5 liter. And today we're gonna to be installing an ignition service kit from ECS Tuning. Links to the parts are in the description. Let's get into it. So as you can tell, it's been a long time since I've been under this hood. Now that I've cleaned up the engine cover a bit, it's time to remove it. Engine covers for these 2.5 liter five cylinders actually serve as the air box housing the air filter. So the inlet is actually attached to the intake ducting at the front of the engine bay with two T20 screws. The air box exit piping going into the throttle body is attached with a hose clamp. After those are disconnected, the engine cover can be removed by pulling straight up at each corner. All right guys, so I got the engine cover off. Um, right now I'm cleaning some of the other covers. We now have access to the coil pack, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out. Just like with the Golf R, you're gonna wanna pull straight up and out with the coil packs, trying to apply even pressure around the top of the coil pack. So let's get those out quick. As with the Golf R, the first step in removing the coil packs is disconnecting the wiring harness. Unfortunately, compared to the 2 liter turbo engines found on the Golf R, Volkswagen has made it more difficult to remove the wiring harnesses on the 2.5 liter 5 cylinder engines. They've designed a recess under the wiring harness which helps secure the harness but makes it difficult to disconnect the coil packs. After using a screwdriver to open the clips on each coil pack, we can remove the harness by pulling the clips up to clear the recess and then back to disconnect from the coil pack. With the harness out of the way, each coil pack can be removed from the spark plugs by pulling straight up. Now with a 5 8 inch spark plug socket and an extension, we can begin to remove the spark plugs. While we're doing that, let's take a look at what we'll be installing. This kit was provided by ECS Tuning and includes five Bosch spark plugs, five genuine red coil packs, and a packet of dielectric boot grease. The service kit is one example of an ECS tuning assembled kit. And I love these kits because they take the guesswork out of finding the right parts to service your vehicle and the shipping is free. I'll have an affiliate link down below, so if you're interested, go check that out. All right, now that we've got the spark plugs out, we just need to install the new spark plugs and then install the new coil packs. First thing though, we need to gap the plug, make sure that it's at the correct gap here. I've read that these 2.5 liter engines run the best between 0.039 inches and 0.041 inches. So we'll use a gapping gauge. I've got a 0.021 inch and 0.018 inch to get to the 0.039 total. Let me gap these quick and then we'll throw them back into the car. To achieve the correct gap, I used the gauge to measure the gap between the ignition tip and the ground strap. I was making slight changes to the ground strap, making sure I avoided any contact with the ignition tip. Then I'd remeasure until the gap was exactly 0.039 inches. And here's a quick comparison of the old and new plugs. All right, so the old coil packs and spark plugs are out. The new spark plugs are gapped, and now we're just gonna apply some of this boot protector over the end of the spark plug here. That will avoid any arcing, and it will avoid moisture getting in between the coil pack and the spark plug. So let's apply this quick, put these spark plugs in, and we will be on our way. Now that the plugs are insulated, we can reinstall them, making sure to start them by hand to avoid any cross threading. When all the plugs are finger tight, they can be torqued to specification.
torqued to specification. The torque spec that I found online was 25 newton meters, which is equivalent to 18 foot pounds, but I have been known to use the wrong torque spec, so go check for yourself. With the spark plugs torqued to spec, we can pop the coil packs back on the plugs. To avoid the issues we had removing the wiring harness, I had decided to install the wiring harness before pushing the coil packs all the way down onto the top of the plugs, and that seemed to make things a little bit easier. With the plugs and the coil packs installed, it's time to check your work. So now that we know the engine runs, the only thing left is to pop the engine cover back on and reinstall the airbox inlet and exit. And of course, finish cleaning the engine bay. And that wraps up the ignition service for this 2010 Volkswagen Jetta. As always, I'll have the parts linked in the description below, so go check those out if you do end up finding something you like over at ECS Tuning and you decided to go through my links, I do get a small kickback, which really helps this channel. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, and if you'd like more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for making it to the end of this video, and I'll see you next time.